Hey guys, I'm Captain Smash. I'm here with Jojo, my illustrious female awesome, awesome child. Anyway, today's blog topic is all about bracing. Now, bracing is one of our big things that we want to do every time we come in and lift um, simply because we want the core to be set up well and you need a proper core brace to be able to lift weights, whether it's on your back, whether you're down benching, rowing, any sort of movement that we are doing, we want to have a good core brace. Now, I like to describe the core brace as it's simply a belly breath, right? You're taking a breath in through your belly, expanding the diaphragm, and then compressing all of that down with your abdominals, your obliques, lower back, glutes, okay? So when we have this brace supporting us, it allows us to load ourselves up with a heavy brace. And so, but more often than not, people are messing this up by improper breathing procedures where, you know, taking a normal breath for me. Okay, so now, if you're watching closely, you can see that Jojo filled up her chest cavity full of air, which is improper for bracing for weights. Why would that be? Why is that? Uh, because you wanna, you wanna be strong in the heart. Right, so like if you're, if you're breathing in through the chest, then you have all this soft tissue down there and you try to take a breath in through the chest and then, okay, so now I need to tighten up my abs, what's gonna happen? I tighten up my abs and I'm gonna lynch forward, right? You don't wanna do that underneath the heavy weight. If you've got a big load on your back, then it's gonna crush you. So you need to have this core nice and tight in here so when Jojo presses out, like she's gonna belly breath in through my fingertips here, and then she's gonna tighten up these muscles all the way around. And you should practice this and feel the tension that you create with that good belly brace. And don't don't think like I wanna vacuum, vacuum my air out. I wanna keep that air inside and trap it like a cylinder, right? So basically your diaphragm is gonna make it like a big cylinder in here. You put a little air in there and then you compress it, okay? And that's gonna help you support it for like things like squats and your deadlifts and uh, pretty much every weightlifting move that we do. So when somebody says, hey, I need you to brace or brace your core, that's what they're talking about. They're talking about filling your abdominal cavity up with air, tightening up the muscular around it, and holding that air tight. So now when we're repping, we want to make sure that that air stays trapped in there um, a, a little bit. And so when, when we do a breath out, we still want to hold a little bit of that air in. You see a lot of people that kind of do a full rep, uh, like a full squat, and they let their, all their air out either on the way down or they let it all out at, up at the top. And all that happens is causing the core to collapse in on itself. So every time we're breathing, we want a short, powerful puff of air out, kind of like a, um, what am I thinking of? Uh, the uh, a pressure cooker, right? It's got all that pressure in with heat. It has a little valve to let off a little bit of excess pressure and then the pressure builds back up. So that's kind of what you need to do when you're underneath a heavy load is take that pressure in, tighten it up, and then breathe it out. So what we're going to do now is Jojo is going to do some squats, both incorrectly and then correctly, and then we'll notice, uh, we'll have her describe the differences to you. So let's go ahead, we'll get a little brace going, we'll get a little plate action here. This is easy to do with just a plate. So just hold the plate up kind of like, like goblet squat position, okay? So now I want you to take a deep breath in through your chest, Joe, and then brace up your core. Now, Joe's pretty strong at these, so like she's not gonna be in any danger, but now in through the chest, tighten up your core, and then drop down. Okay, good, keep going, do a couple reps. See how it feels. Okay. Good, nice. We got you off the camera there. <laughs> On it. So short. Why are you so short? Hey. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. Everything comes better in short packages, right? All right. So now, take in your belly breath in through the abs. So tighten. Okay. Squeeze the bum a little bit. Now drop into the squat. Okay. Don't really see air until you hit the top. Okay. Tight. Good. Nice. Drop it in. Boom. Good. Nice. Okay. One more. Bigger. Tight. Tight. And dry. Good, nice, okay, relax. Good. Now, explain the difference between each one, Joe. What did they feel like? Well, I definitely felt more of my core activated. Okay. <laughs> while I was uh, while I was going down. Um, I'm not sure what else. <laughs> I'm not sure what else. <laughs> so this is a, this is an often uh, often found scenario is like 
a lot of people can't really feel the difference when they're braced up really well. And overall, you should just feel tighter. You should feel more responsive underneath the weights and you'll feel tighter, right? So you'll have a much better responsive uh, force transfer if your core is tighter throughout the movement than it is when it's when you're just kind of like flexing the abs and you got air in through your chest. You'll notice a difference.